Hey, I'm David Ruggiero, and welcome to Little Italy. Well, here, I'm at Royal Crown Bakery in Brooklyn, which is the mecca for great bread. I'm going to be with my friend Joe Generoso, who's going to show me all the tricks to making his fabulous bread. Besides that, I'm going to be doing some great recipes using the bread. So listen, why don't you join me at my Little Italy? Little Italy with David Ruggiero is made possible by Cola Vita. Cola Vita, what great chefs use on and off the set. Bread is not just food for the Italian people. It's part of the life and culture. My friend Joe Generoso and his brother Frank make some of the best Italian bread in the country at Royal Crown Bakery on 14th Street in Brooklyn. And while you may be able to imitate their recipe, it's a lot more than just the dough that makes Royal Crown's bread great. Well, here I am. I'm here with Joe. How you doing, Joe? Good, Dave. And Glenn? Oh, I could smell. Well, I tell you what, I wish everybody at home could smell because this smells unbelievable. It just makes you hungry to stand here. You make some of the best bread that I've ever tasted in my life, Joe. Thank you. Thank what, you. What's the secret to your bread? The secret is uh, me and Franco. You don't want to tell me what goes in that dough, <laughs> huh? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Not yet, when I retire. Well, you. how many kind of breads do you make here? Uh, right now, in the store or all together? All together. Well, we're around, I think, 15, mm -hmm. 15 types, 18. Oh. Finally, because is our biggest seller. That's this what you're really you're famous is, for. Right. right. This is the bread we started with. The pan de casa, ten years ago. I mean, everybody knows. Her. I mean, anywhere you go, they know the pan de casa from Royal Crown. Joe, tell me from beginning and how you make the pan de casa, step by step. Put the uh, water in the mixer, mm -hmm. by the yeast. Go in with the sourdough. And you do it in that machine over here? Or in what? the whole bar mixer, yes. And uh, we add in the flour, mm -hmm. all the rest of the ingredients, and we start letting them mix. As it's mixing, 10, 15 minutes, uh, we check the gluten of mm -hmm. the flour. If the uh, less, the how the much it stretches? How much it stretches? If we feel it needs more mixing time, we give it another five, ten minutes of mixing time. Uh, then we let it rest, double proof. We uh, slap it, uh, uh, bench it, mm -hmm. scale it. Okay. We shape the uh, the rolls. Mm -hmm. uh, a fifteen minute proof time. Uh, then we mold it, slice it, and Bake it in the oven. And we keep it in the oven a long time, for a low heat for around two hours, two and a half hours. And do you put any steam in with the oven? Yes, uh, we do. Bake but it depends on the bread. Yeah. A sourdough bread doesn't need much steam. Mm -hmm. uh, if you do use a lot of steam, you're going to get a, a very hard, cracky crust, mm -hmm. which you don't want. Yeah. Uh, so every type of bread is a different amount of steam. Uh, we have a, a special steam system here that's constant. Mm -hmm. uh, steam injection through the whole bake, which is certain breads we need it, and uh, other breads you need minimal amount. So out of all this bread and everything, what's your favorite? Oh, well, the newest is the seven grain. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's the newest uh, baguette we make, and we like that a lot. I like with a fish uh, tuna. Yeah. Yeah, with tuna salad uh, and uh, turkey sandwich. Why don't you tell me a little bit about the oven you got here? All right, well, the oven's uh, all bricks, yeah. and it works off of coal and wood. Mm -hmm. And uh, what we do here is, when we bake, uh, when we're preparing our bread mix, yeah. we start firing up the oven, mm -hmm. where we add in all the coal that we keep in the bin here. Yeah. Wow. Joe, what do you use for the fire? I see you got coal there, but what, are, what kind of wood are you using? We prefer the very dry wood, which is oak, and uh, oh. we get it from upstate where mm -hmm. there's certain companies that drive real well. And uh, the wood we put in at the very end to yeah. give it that flavor. Do you ever experiment with other kind of woods or? Well, no, not really. We tried, like some neighborhood guys chop down their trees and they bring it here, but <laughs> we tried it once, it doesn't work. 
Each day, they only bake a limited number of loaves, but sometimes that's not even enough. One of the customers comes in, the last guy, he had, uh, there was around six loaves of bread. He goes, I'll take all six, because he had to go to Jersey. Yeah. So the guy in the back of the he goes, could you leave me two, because I promised this guy was going to bring them <laughs> back. He goes, no, 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 they're all mine. Now, this is husband and wife, both of them, two couples. So he goes, no, 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 no. He goes, come on, I'll give you whatever you want. He goes, hey, what do you think, what money you could buy me? He goes, I don't want, this is my bread. I need to have a big party. He goes, how about one bread? Could you leave me one bread? Because I promised this guy was going to take it to him. He goes, no, no, and leave me alone. He turns back. Turns back, the guy turns him around, decks him. That's me. Right All of a sudden, the wives are scratching themselves. And one of the ladies going like this in Italian. Uh, she says, I told you I had a bad dream tonight. I told you to leave the house. And uh, that's it. Then the day went on. All over a loaf of bread. I tell you, it's good or what? Listen, Joe, thank you very much for showing me all these little secrets. You got to the terrific bread, Len. Pleasure. Man. Thank you very much. Thank you. Listen, stay tuned. I'm going to show you some terrific recipes using bread. <laughs>